Let me go. But I would like to um, just go around and, and, and anoint this ground again. I like the ministers, all the ministers, um, and the, the, the pastors as well as the lay ministers to go around. They have some oil. And just go around and um, this, this area here and just anoint it. And Pastor Allison from the Georgetown Church, Pastor of the Georgetown Temple, he's going to come and he's going to say a prayer. Okay? Uh, well, you want to do it, do it first and come and pray? Yeah, we could do that, do it that way. Uh, we'll just anoint the area and then we'll come and he'll say, he'll say a prayer. Gracious Father, we thank you that jokes will be broken, lives will be changed, families healed, people reconciled to one another and to you, because the anointing breaks the yoke, Lord. We pray that the anointed one, Jesus, will be lifted high and exalted in this district. Father, we pray that even as we have gathered together today with one mind, one purpose, and one accord for this occasion simply to break ground and to declare our intent, to declare our solidarity with your plans for this congregation. We pray, Father God, that that would continue to be the anointing that rests upon us so that with one mind, one purpose, one heart, one intent, this congregation would go from strength to strength and lives would continue to be changed in the district of West Bay. Lord God, we pray that families, individuals, those who are considered the lost in the community, the down and outers, and the up and outers, will all come to know Jesus Christ through the preaching of the gospel, through the ministry of this congregation. And so, Lord, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the anointing that we have upon us through the Holy Spirit. Yes. You are the anointed one. Your word tells us that no, we don't need anyone even to teach us anything because the anointing, your anointing, teaches us all things. We know that you are the anointed one. And we thank you for your presence here today. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.